Okay, I want to welcome everyone um, that are joining us today for Tech Talks. Um, we, it's, it's our first Tech Talk of 2023, which is awesome. Um, we're grateful to be getting back to the series and really happy to see all of you. Um, for those of you that may be new for the first time, uh, the purpose of Tech Talks is to improve EMSC through technology. And this is a really fun group um, of EMSC program managers that come together, to learn about a lot of things. So data processes, free and open source software, um, reporting strategies, EMSC communications, and just a whole lot more. So today we're gonna be learning about Adobe Express um, by yours truly. And if you are you know, new to the program, you wanna drop your name and the state that you're calling from, that would be fantastic. Um, can you all see my screen okay? All right, I'm just gonna take that thumbs up. And Braden, if you could um, take your video off, that would be great. So before we get started, let's get ready by making sure that our physical and virtual spaces are free of distractions. Uh, let's get set by muting our phones to keep the line clear. And let's participate by raising our hands with the reactions icon. You can speak up over the phone or reach out to Jane Lowe, who is monitoring the chat today. Thank you so much, Jane. She's going to be taking your questions and comments and feel free anytime, you know, to just speak up. I'm going to be moving pretty fast today. Many of you might be familiar with Adobe Spark tutorials that we've done in workshops and in tech talks. And if you are, Adobe Express is basically Adobe Spark reimagined. Uh, Adobe Express is free. It's a creative design app and you can get it for either mobile or on uh, like iOS or Android, or you can use it online on a Mac or a PC. If you have an account already, it is part of Adobe Creative Cloud plan. So today I'm gonna to be logged into our Adobe Creative Cloud. I'm gonna be using the online version from a PC and it works best on the latest versions of Chrome and Firefox. So make sure your browser's up to date and uh, Jane's gonna pop in a link uh, to the chat. It's just adobe.com forward slash express. And that's where you can log in to create a new account if you are new to Adobe. So when you get to the web page, you can click on the purple Get Adobe Express Free button, and it will take you to the login page to either log in or create a new account. And with the free version, you're gonna get the basic editing and photo effects you might see on similar apps. So things like cropping, color adjustment stickers, um, other editing tools that you might be familiar with, you're gonna see in this, in this app. There are thousands, and I mean, thousands of design templates and design assets that do a lot of the work for you. So if you're not really skilled at creative design or you just wanna create something in a hurry, this is definitely the app for you. Um, there's over 2000 unique Adobe fonts that you can use. I don't think I'll live long enough to use them all, but <laughs> um, you can also have two uh, gigabytes of free storage. So if you wanna save or duplicate your projects, you've got plenty of room to store them, which is really nice. The free version also gives you access to the Adobe Stock Royalty Free Photo Collection that makes choosing backgrounds. And one, one stat I saw said that they have over 800,000 photos in that Royalty Free Stock section. So you've got plenty to choose from there. Um, it does make choosing backgrounds and photos and other elements uh, in Express really, really easy. It does advertise that it is free forever. So unless of course you want to upgrade to the premium version, it will be free, which is fantastic. Um, before I move to the online view, does anybody have any questions? I'm just gonna stop share and while I'm switching over, you're welcome to ask questions if you have any questions. Okay, well, let's go ahead and move to the online version. I hope you can all see my screen okay here. Um, this is the landing page that you get to after you've logged in for Adobe Express. Um, you've got several features here. You've got kind of a menu down on the left-hand sidebar. And I'm just gonna kind of address this area called create a new project. 
Adobe Express makes it really easy because they categorized things that most folks are kind of looking for. So everything from logos to flyers to posters, anything you could possibly think of to do on social media. Um, they've even got templates for album covers, book covers, resumes, pretty much, you know, they have it all. So they also have customizable sizes that you can do if you want to start a template from scratch. So you don't have to use theirs. I'm just going to click on this really quick so that you can kind of see this. If you want to select a size, they have popular sizes available. Um, things that we're most familiar with, probably for social media, but things that are square, Instagram sizes, Facebook, everybody's got their own that they like to um, kind of popularize amongst the social media set. These are other social media post type templates that you can start from scratch. So if you have, you know, something on Pinterest that you want to do, if you want to create a thumbnail for a YouTube video, they even have things for LinkedIn for a blog post, which are really cool. Likewise, you can print things. So if you have a letter or poster size that you want to do, you're creating a graphic or something that you just want to print from your printer, they've got those sizes too. Social profiles, um, again, more social media. They've also got Twitch banners for any of you gamers out there. It's kind of, kind of fun and interesting. LinkedIn, standard, and then custom. You can create your own custom template. So I just wanted to make you aware that although Adobe has so many things that they offer, you can create from scratch if you like to. There's also this quick action section down here that can remove backgrounds, can resize images, um, convert things to, um, and I don't know how to say it, GIFs or GIFs, you convert to MP4. There's lots of quick actions that basically take content that you've already created and immediately like change them for you. So if you were to convert, you know, like a, a short little video snippet to a GIF, you could, um, click on that button, upload the content, and it'll convert it right there for you. It's really fast and easy. Um, there are lots of templates, and I'm just going to kind of pull up, open my screen a little bit bigger so you can see. Um, they've got recommended ones. You can, you know, have your personal templates located here. And they've also got seasonal highlights. So February is Black History Month. And if you want to scroll through kind of some quick and easy templates, you can do that for Black History Month. Click on one and it'll open it up for you. There's Chinese New Year, which is really great. They're pretty mindful about a lot of things that might be going on for the season that are just fast and easy to locate so you don't have to do a ton of searching. I'm not going to save that project right now, but you can scroll down and see lots that are popular right now, either on social media or just on the web things that people recognize as being cool and trendy right now, things for Instagram and other social media, you can explore those at your leisure as I'm sure you will, because it's really a lot of fun. Um, after the home page on the left-hand side here, we have a projects button that you can click on. And the EDC uses Adobe Express for quite a few different projects. Um, some of the managers on the call right now might recognize um, these badges here. We created these for you to celebrate all of the hard work you've been doing on the EMS for Children survey. You can see that they're really fun and they can be flashy if you want to download them as an MP4. You can create animations. They really are a great way um, to show gratitude as we are so grateful for all that y'all have been doing. So as response rates increase, your TA might be sending you a badge. So that's kind of a lot of fun. This brands button right here is more for large businesses that have whole teams for marketing that do a lot with logos. And you'll notice right here, it's kind of small. You'll see it a little bit bigger elsewhere, but you'll see this crown. Um, this crown icon means that this is a premium feature. So it's not part of the free package, but if you upgrade to premium, then you can utilize the brands button. Libraries is another great feature that they have here. If you have Adobe stock images that you've purchased, they'll automatically link to Adobe Express for your use in Express. So we've got quite a few that we've purchased for a variety of, of reasons, for different PowerPoints, presentations, tutorials that we do. 
And so if we want to use any of this information that we've already purchased, we can, or these pictures that we've already purchased, we can in Adobe Express, it kind of translates right over. This schedule button is brand new. If you want to schedule posts on uh, Facebook or Twitter, if you create something in Adobe Express, you can schedule a post straight from Adobe Express to your uh, linked account, social media account. So that's kind of a really cool feature if you're wanting to save time. So instead of logging in and out of your social media, you can just do it straight from Adobe Express and it'll link for you. I want to just kind of show you particularly this learn um, button here. It's It's very just, the best place to explore if you're really interested in looking at videos. I kind of open it up here just in a new tab because this is kind of the tutorial section. Um, they get a lot of frequently asked questions. And so they've made these really fantastic tutorials that are very, very short. And there's hardly any talking whatsoever in any of the tutorials. You can see some of these are just like a minute long or 23 seconds long, how to do it. And they're very, very visual. Um, so it's really great to see that they're being mindful about the fact that we have short attention spans, <laughs> but we want to learn things and we want to learn them quickly. So I encourage you to go ahead and, you know, click on the learn button, explore, have fun with it. It's a great way to kind of do those things. Um, the last feature I wanted to kind of show you on the left-hand side here is this plus button. Um, this breaks out the create new and the quick actions that I mentioned before. But you'll also notice that all the way down at the bottom here, it says video. Um, some of you might be asking yourself the question, can Adobe Express create videos like we used to do in Adobe Spark? And the answer is absolutely yes. So exciting that that feature still remains. I know a lot of you all use it. And we would have to create a separate tutorial to kind of go over and teach you how to do that. So if you're interested, let us know, we'd be happy to take you there. Um, before I move on any further, does anybody have any questions um, from the chat? How are we doing in there, Jane? The chat is clear. Uh, we don't have any questions so far. Okay. Well, if you do have any questions, by all means, please don't hesitate to ask. We're here to help. And I'm gonna just move right along forward. We're gonna go ahead and go back to the home button. And I'm going to click on flyer. We're just going to kind of show you how to navigate once you are in a project. Maybe you picked a template. Maybe you decide you want to do one from scratch. And you'll notice here that for each of the templates, these are the tools that you can use. You've got some on the left-hand side of the screen. And you also have some on the right-hand side of the screen. The tools on the left-hand side of the screen will often prompt those on the right. Uh, to open up, to give you options, more gallery views, et cetera. You can pop open where it says see more. You'll see a lot of these see more or view all tabs or, or um, arrows right here that you can open up a view if you want to do that. Underneath of this particular category, underneath seasonal highlights, you can see that there's going to be a search bar. There's a search bar for pretty much every category. And you can type in a search or you can kind of scroll down to some recommended templates or all templates. You can customize as you see fit. I like to broad my search categories to make them really, really broad. And so when I do them, I'm just gonna type in invitations and you don't have to stick to a particular category. If you even just see a template you like, you can make it your own, which is really great. Um, something else that I wanted to point out here, you can also see this premium again, premium icon right here. If you only want to see the free content, you can click on free and it will only show you free content. So you don't fall in love with something that's premium and then we're like, oh, I can't use that. But we like to kind of look at that and make sure that that's clicked so that you can see. You can see there's a lot of templates you can scroll down and look at. Now, while I'm in free here um, and I've got invitations, I'm gonna change the search to open house. You can see it'll pull up a new search. I'm gonna click on that free button again because I only wanna see the free one. And I'm just gonna click on this one. I really like this template. And I'm just gonna use this as kind of a building block for some other features that I show you in here. So first let's talk about text. 
you can add your own text right here with add your text button just by clicking on it and it'll open it up or you can see how it appeared right here or you can use one of their text tips now again for here it doesn't appear that they allow you to just look at free text but they do have categories social seasonal logos and you can click on more to see what more of those look like but you can add your own text. You can search for text as well, and it'll pull up searches for you. Um, I'm not gonna keep this text. Well, I actually am, I'm gonna keep this text. You can see that when I clicked on text, it opened up on the right side and it says edit text. So if I wanted to edit that text, I could say, join us, and it would change it from this right-hand side. This just gives us more options. Um, you can change the color by clicking up here. And change that to white and you'll notice with the color scheming that it really does try to keep the colors complementary which is really nice when you're trying to you know not have to look um, or change the hues or the rgb or anything like that for color scheming they have other things like changing the font right here you can see they've got tons of fonts and samples right next to them so you can see exactly what it will look like you can change the font size. You can change different elements, like if you want the font to be curved. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of that, but there's different effects and outlines and things that you can do to make the font really fun. So if I move over to the left-hand panel again, you see photos. And you can add photos. You can actually even add photos that have the background removed if you want something that's similar to this particular photo in here. Um, again, you can upload your own photos or you can search Adobe Stock. Like I said, they've got thousands and thousands of free stock photos that um, they're willing to share for your templates. And when you click on photos, you'll find that you have editing options for the image on the right-hand side. So you can edit a cutout, you can, this, this particular image is a cutout, so you can edit it if you want to. Um, you can add it to a background. There's lots of filters that you might be familiar with from other, you know, Adobe Spark or other programs. And it's just a lot of fun to play in here. If I move on to shapes, um, there are also lots of shaping options, icons and things like that that you can search for. If you wanted to search for a shape like a child, put that in there, you can pull up lots of different options for children in there. And if you wanted to include it, you just click on it. And if you click on the shape itself, you have even more options. You can change the color of it, make this one a light yellow. You can you know, move it like you would other images that maybe you move in either PowerPoint or other programs. You can make it big or small. So there's just a lot that you can do once you click on this side. Now, this one's really fun. This is design aspects. And design aspects have um, vectors, vector images in them. So if I were to click on a vector image in here, it's going to take the image without any kind of a background and I can place it where I want to. And it just kind of creates a seamless looking thing. I'm just going to delete this one. I love kids, but I'm going to delete that one. <laughs> um, likewise, you can change things that are existing in the template. So if I wanted to get rid of these pencils right here and move this around, I could change it. So lots of different things that you can do with these elements and the design assets. Um, I'm going to move forward for sake of time just to backgrounds. If you want to change the background, you can go through these templates. You can edit the background yourself. If I were to put, say, this, this brown background, I think, gosh, that just really doesn't pop as much as the pink one does. So maybe I don't want to do that. You have undo and redo buttons up here, which make it really easy. Um, you almost can't make a mistake, which I absolutely love because, you know, you're going to be playing a lot in here. You've got um, 10 minutes, Jane. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Brayden. So right here, um, up here, like I was mentioning, with the undo move and the redo move, they're kind of like Adobe Spark. They'll remember about 10 steps back 
maybe a few steps forward. Um, I don't how, remember if they'll go all the way to the beginning of a project. It's probably just best to edit specific elements that you have on the page here. Um, but it does work, you know, moving forward and backward. And you'll notice up here that everything is automatically saved in the cloud. You're never having to remember to save things because it will save it for you, um, which is a great time saver for me, especially when I'm working really fast. So right here on the bottom right hand side, you'll also notice this grouping right here. And the grouping basically shows you separate elements on the page. Now, what's interesting about grouping is that there are layers are kind of like tiles and the layers kind of show you how things are moved. You can switch these around to make, you know, something a top layer or behind a layer, et cetera. But if you have projects where you're creating, say like a newsletter or you're creating a PDF of some sort and you have several multiple pages, you can move the pages around, which is great in this view because it's kind of hard to just arrow back and forth. But this will allow you to move things up and down. Um, right here, layering doesn't matter so much because everything is kind of, you know, here and there and everywhere on top of itself. Um, I did move the Friday behind. And so I want to kind of pull that up a little bit farther and back to the forefront right here. So if I were going to, you know, like I said, if you if you come back down here over to the left hand side where it says logos, you see that's a premium feature. Again, that's kind of more of a business account or business feature um, or just for premium members. But if you come down here to libraries and you wanted to click on that, it'll open up libraries that you've created in Adobe. And like I said, we have several different categories with lots of, lots of purchase content that we could open up and use one of the pictures that we purchased to add in here. And again, on the right-hand side, anytime that you click on something on the left-hand side, you'll have different options. Sometimes it's for colors, depending on what that is. If you wanted to change the color scheming of things, you could, classic, professional, there's a lot of options here. If you wanted to add animation, say for example, I have my vector image here. Looks like this vector image doesn't allow for animations, but if I wanted to add an animation to something else, like to the text, for example, and I wanted to come in here and click on animations, right now it's not allowing me to select anything that I could put an animation on. Um, but there are options for animation if you create your own text, which is really kind of fun. It just makes things pop on the page. Layouts right here on the right hand side allow you to create your own uh, background or your own layout. And so if you wanted to do like a banner layout instead, it'll change it for you based on the color scheme that you've chosen. I'm just going to get rid of this background shape while I'm at it. And you can see right now, it says, you know, you've got kind of a really nice open house flyer. This right here is just added design elements. A lot of these things are premium design elements, but you can definitely click on certain tiles and see if it applies to those elements. Um, but right now, if you're thinking, you know, well, how could I use this in the EMSC program? How could I use this in the EMSC space? Well, if you were wanting to meet with um, some, you know, family advisory network folks, and you wanted to have a fan meeting, you could come over here and change this and say something like, be a fan. Join us. And if you find an element on the screen right here, um, you know, you're going to want to change this. We invite you to meet your child's teachers and classmates. Well, that doesn't have anything to do with being a fan. But if you go to ungroup, sometimes these things are just grouped together. So if you want to go to ungroup, that ungroups the text from the shape. And you can come in here and move the shape down a little bit. And you can change this information. We invite you to meet the EMSC program manager for Bay Ohio 
and learn more about these. And I hope that's correct. So you do that, undo that, and now you can pull that open a little bit more if you want to, and you just have different information there. You can change pretty much anything on this page. So I know we're running a little bit low on time. Um, I want to ask if there are any questions about anything I've shown this far. I know I've been really kind of fast with all of this. Are we looking in the chat there, Jane? Yes, yeah, we don't have any uh, questions in the chat so far. Okay, that's all right. Well, um, really quick, I just wanted to show you um, that once you are finished with a flyer or a template, you can see that it's saved here. If you go back to my projects, you can see that it's saved right here. Um, once it's saved, you have a couple of options. You can click up here and you can duplicate it if you want to create just kind of a template. You can make a new template. Um, if you want to duplicate it, you can to work on something that's similar, but a little bit, you know, change for a, a tailored purpose. You can move them around, download them, or delete them. And I'm just going to show you really quickly what it looks like. If you download on the top right hand side of the screen, you can download them based on the file type that the template will allow you to download it in. So it could be PNG, it could be JPEG, it could be PDF if you want to download. Sometimes, like I said, there's MP4s, which you can download it that have, you know, animations and, you know, shapes moving around and things like that. The share feature is really kind of great because if you want to share, you can invite other people to work on your Adobe Express project with you. So you would just add emails to this section right here and you could click on invite to edit once you have an email in there, or you can just copy the link and send it in your own email if you'd like and copy it and share it with others and they can come in and design with you. It's a great way to collaborate. It's a fun collaborative space. You can also um, schedule posts on social media. This is where you do that right from here. You can also publish it to social media. So any one of the social media sites, scheduling is fantastic. They do have versions of Adobe Express for teachers, um, for classrooms, educators, that might need just to have different needs, I should say, um, for a classroom space. You can share it over Teams. Um, which is kind of fun. I'm going to try that with my coworkers today. Uh, email, and then of course, you can also grab the link again right here if you wanted to share it broadly uh, uh, elsewhere. So if there aren't any other questions, I'm going to go ahead and stop share. And I am going to go back to our presentation here. See if I can find it. All right, I think that's where we left off. And I just wanted to let you know that next time we are going to have Braden presenting to us. He's going to do PowerPoint, new features and creatures. It sounds like a lot of fun. And the monthly challenge for next month is to open and explore two tabs in PowerPoint that you have never used before. Um, again, you, you can't break anything in <laughs> PowerPoint. So click, click away and enjoy kind of exploring new tabs in PowerPoint. Likewise, um, we just want to thank everybody for being with us today, uh, for kind of watching this tutorial, participating. All of our tech talks are recorded and posted on our website. I'll be sending out the link to you all to this recording. Uh, you can see them on the YouTube channel that we have as well. And if you have any ideas for Tech Talks um, or comments, suggestions, feel free to reach out to me at jane.osler at hsc.utah.edu. Thank you all so much for the great work that you're doing. And we hope to see you next month very soon. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Take care.